casting off. Brings up after the incompletion here, second and ten from the twenty. Delayed give to Foster. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have and down he goes. The pressure getting the ledge. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Well, the beauty of screen. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off right around the 43. The fourth down pass. And that pick just sets him up beautifully right down near the goal line. I remember being in a defensive meeting back when I was in college. And our defensive coordinator says, we're going to call this be who you are defense. D linemen, you play the run. Linebackers, be aware of anything. And secondary, under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The play action fake, they'll look to throw. Pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. On play action, they'll throw. Steps away. He may try, and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. It's their quarterback keeping it himself from eight yards out. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the... And all he takes off with it, it's a fake. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Here's Florida now after the touchdown, back out to kick it off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. It's almost like, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And down he'll go at the 25. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. It's complete to Grant. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A good gain of 12 yards that time. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. After the sack on first down, Lynch, and they don't get the reception incomplete. So now they're down to 17 seconds remaining. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. To the ground and incomplete. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and throw for it with Lynch. Under pressure, and down he goes. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and now the football's going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. Thirteen yards on the pickup, and now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. For the Florida field goal. An 18-yard attempt. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. 
this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes, and that's exactly how they're playing this one out. So start the celebration in Gainesville for the first time since 2008. The Florida celebration game. time on that sideline. It took a change at quarterback. His thoughts will turn to the condition of Tommy Matthews. But for now, jubilation as they are the national champions. Well, Tommy's injury certainly was a setback. But the bond that these two kids have is really strong. And although only one of the heartbreak kids was out there in the second half. Tommy's spirit was with him, and I believe. You hear from Mr. Matthews? The hoodie gave it away? He's stable. But we're only allowing family to go back right now. <clears throat> That's great, because he's my brother. And I'm proud of what he's accomplished this season. I think there's only one individual on everyone's mind tonight. This one is for my brother. Tommy Matthews. Tommy. You think that's something? <laughs> you should see it in person. <laughs> oh, man. That's so cool. Uh, uh. Oh, thanks so much for coming and bringing this. You kidding me? I wouldn't miss this for anything. Coach and the guys sent their best. They waited as long as they could, but no one knew when you might wake up, so they had to catch their flights back. I told Coach I wasn't about to split up the heartbreak kid, so I stayed behind. Make sure you're all right. Thanks, man. I'm just glad you're here. But hey, they did leave you the trophy. They wanted to make sure you had it when you woke up. <laughs> mm. How are you feeling, buddy? <sighs> like a sack of crap. It's funny, because that's exactly what I was going to say you look like. <laughs> Hey, man, promise me one thing. Anything. That you'll come back next year and make it win the championship together. Next year, you know I will, brother. Together. <clears throat> Doc said I shouldn't overdo it. She said what caused all this? Yeah. Something about the stress from my filthy roommate leaving his dishes lying around the apartment. She said if it weren't for that, I'd be the pinnacle of health. Please. <laughs> hey, seriously. You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. It's ridiculous. Really? Right now? <laughs> God. <sighs> Is that him? Coach? Don't look too disappointed. No, no, I was just expecting Tommy. Come in. Care for a cupcake? No, thanks. So, you here for the party? No, give me a minute. Okay, Coach. Actually, I'm, uh... I'm here to talk to you. Uh, next season. Yeah, sure, talk away. It was, uh, it was something you said at the, uh, at the start of the season earlier. It really stuck with me. It's... Something good, I hope? Well, it was... Something you said about treat your men like your beloved sons and... I'll follow you into the deepest valley. And that really got me. It got me thinking about the way I treat you boys, and, and I wasn't being fair to you, and Tommy, for that matter, or the team. Wow, Coach, I really appreciate that. All that being said, I, I wanted to go into the offseason with everyone on the same page. I figured the best way that we could do that would be to announce a starter. And, uh... <sighs> Tommy's gonna be our starter. But... 
How could you possibly make that decision after the title game? Is Tommy even going to be able to play? Yeah, I spoke with his doctor. Uh, valve replacement surgery was great. He's going to be right as rain. <sighs> Just... Don't understand. I know this is hard for you. It's, it's hard for you to process, and, and I hope you believe me when I say that I take no joy in making this decision. But I stand firmly behind it because, frankly, Tommy's a better fit for the offense. Well, what does this mean for me? Well, it, uh, it means that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life, and you've got two choices. You can enter the draft, and based on what you did last year, I'd say you'd be lucky to get picked in the third round. But realistically, you're looking at a late-round selection, if at all. Jeez, don't sugarcoat it for me. Well, I'm trying to be open and honest with you. From this moment forward, I'm giving it... And my other choice? Well, the way I see it, you got too much raw athleticism to waste sitting on the bench. Your talent is a true gift. And it's one that I'm gonna give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense and... Get your heartbreak kids thing going back again. Heartbreak kids. Well, Tommy's already tried recruiting me to come back so we can win the title together. Does that mean you're in? Plus, he did switch positions once, and you see how well that worked out for him. Um, guess I can try too. The heartbreak kids are back, baby! <laughs> Was he eavesdropping? <laughs> Always. <sighs> I'm not sure what's more strange, that interaction or the general cleanliness of this apartment. Cupcake! It wasn't an easy decision at the time, but I don't regret it for a second. Of course, everyone's first thought was, where am I going to play? It felt good, telling everyone I was sticking around and Tommy and I were going to play together. The next question was, did it actually work out? Pretty drastic turn of events for Coach O'Brien's program. I mean, the defensive pantry has been pretty much left dry with most of that elite unit having bolted for the NFL. But today, Coach O'Brien revealed a new strategy, and I think it's kind of brilliant. Get both heartbreak kids on the field at the same time. I mean, it's really... A brilliant move. Here's the deal. You got to get all of your talented players on the field at once, certainly if they're going to rely on the offense for a change to be the strength of this team if they're planning on making another run at it.